Jamie with the court. I've got a real life attorney up here this morning, too. A real life? A real life attorney. <laughs> yeah, ready to go to this. Is a wrong? This is a right. If my buzzer boy can sit through without having to immediately run to the restroom <laughs> and during this right here. And soon to be sponsored one, two, three by ABC, Athens Bonding Company. Very good. So we hope, hope to get that clarified this way. I thought they'd be a good deal. One, two. <laughs> hey, Randy Cooper, hold it down a little bit. <laughs> Athens was just rated the seventh safest city in the state of Alabama. Great. Because of the flying leadership of the uh, president over here. I mean, uh, the mayor. The police chief, Floyd oh, Johnson. Chief. Oh, yeah. Floyd Lund, know his mama. I've lunch with her last week <laughs> over there. Athens have been named over here because of their lack of a lot of crimes going on. Thing is, though, who was number six? Huntsville. Mm -hmm. What was the safe? <laughs> yeah, good answer, but that's the wrong. <laughs> Not New Hope. What was number six? Uh -huh. Two? Who was number six? <laughs> they are also home. They are also home to where you bought your car. Hartsville, Alabama. Hartsville, Alabama would be the sixth safest sixth city in the great state of Alabama. All right, who is Alabama's only, I say only, yeah. openly gay legislator? <laughs> There's several, but who's the openly? Openly gay. Openly. Uh, I don't know. Patricia Todd in Birmingham. And have you heard what she is going to do? Because she is angry about the Luther Strange and at the Hubbard comments about appealing this. Mm -hmm. She is going to expose those who have cheated on their wives that she knows. About. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Oh, oh she's a little we. mad. Uh -huh. She's going to come out wow. and say, hey, I know about all you people down here. <laughs> so there you go. Wow. What is? Unalienable rights. Inalienable rights. Inalienable rights. Yeah, I got unalienable rights. I got it. You in? That's you right. It can't be taken away from you. Papa. What? Yeah, my glasses are broke. That's why I don't have them on right now. <laughs> because somebody's been putting them on their fat head to hold their hair back. <laughs> they both no, you're not. How come one of the glasses <laughs> fell out? Way to go finding it. That's why I can't see anything this morning. They are broken. Oh, don't blame your wrong words on me. <laughs> so what are they? They are rights that what? Can't be taken away. By citizens or by state government. 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 Or any other government. So they are in the Constitution. That's right. So that's what this whole thing is based on to some degree. Right. Frank. So we'll talk more about that a little bit later on. Too. Okay. How many states right now allow gay marriage where it's legal? 13, 14, 8. Hey, wrong, wrong, and wrong. 35? 27. That's close. 36, actually. Wow. What are the states right now like Alabama? Name one other one of them. There's only like five that are fighting. Yeah. That's wrong. Oh. South Dakota, Texas, Missouri, and Arkansas, and Louisiana. All right, here's another thing right here, a little different. I don't know how many of y'all drink milk daily, but the milk industry is in decline right now. Hmm. If I can get yeah, these on without hairspray Listen. or something else. Yeah, okay. You're in serious And it says trouble. right here, down, drinking milk is down 33% last year. Ooh, that's a lot. That is how a lot. many gallons per person did a person drink last year? All right, Joan Simmons drinks it daily. Bunches. How many right? gallons per person in America is it, does it average out to? 10 gallons. Three gallons. Well, let's go with number one. 14 and a half gallons per person. It is peak in 1970. Oh, How many? 14 in two weeks. Yeah. Wow. Well, gallons of person drinking. I drink too much milk then. I do. You drink more than 14 gallons. Of, it's good for you, though. I drink more than 14 I gallons a year. 21. Yeah, no, but you got an average of everybody. Okay, I got, yeah, some don't. That's true. 21. 22 gallons. 22. Number two in 1970. Shut up is in Alaska. That's our buddy who works at Bowl. Mm -hmm. Sent me a thing yesterday on his tundra he was driving. What was the temperature basically be like yesterday in Alaska? Minus, minus two degrees. How, okay, minus two. That's the wrong. 
Your thermometer in your vehicle goes to what? How far does it only go? And on the negative side. Minus 40. 40. 40. Minus 40. It was minus 47 degrees yesterday where he was in Alaska. Mm. President Obama, you know, is de trying to designate to make a, a, a big part of Alaska a national park, federally protected. How many more million acres right now? How many acres, basically, is he trying to propose to be a national park? Limiting the supply of oil up there. Uh, well, Alaska's our biggest state, too, I think. You know, that's, yeah. that's a lot of land. Mm. There's no telling. There's no telling. 12.2 acres is what he is trying to, uh, on top of what's already designated. 12.2 million. That's where all the oil is. All right, yeah. Polaris is building in Limestone County. They're going to be paying an average of about 30 something thousand dollars a year over there. Uh, they're going to have, uh, what, what kind of sales did they do last year nationwide? Or worldwide. What did their company do in sales last 35 year? Million. 35 million. That would be a triple wrong. <laughs> 10 million. If I just said higher. 38 million was a 100, triple. 120 million. That would be. He said a triple wrong. I just thought. <laughs> so you think Polaris only did 10 million dollars in sales last year? No. I, I, I just <laughs> made a comment. That's just a good guess. Wasn't it? He was just 3.8 billion, billion. billion dollars in sales. Billion. Billion. Word. Mm. Champion Motors in Athens with a billion of that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, they sell them down there. What are their three most popular Polaris vehicles? <laughs> I don't know you. You don't have their number on. That's right. You don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're you in the dog house. You are in serious trouble. You are you're in, in the serious dog trouble. <laughs> Meet my attorney. <laughs> <laughs> I already know it. <laughs> the Ace. The Ranger and the RZR are their most three popular vehicles. Ranger, so Ranger. So an education program this is. Mm -hmm. All right, here's one right up your alley. Maybe <laughs> start. Okie dokie. Clint Eastwood's American Sniper. I haven't seen that yet. Just it's topped it's how much? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, 200 million. Sunny watch. Very good number one. 200 million. Making it his biggest movie involvement ever. Mm. What was the next, what is the second place movie? Josie Wales? The, for him. That he had oh, he, um, did 148 million. Grand Torino? Grand Torino. Mm -hmm. I just took a wild guess. <laughs> huh? Good job, son. You made that right. in Michigan. Super Bowl's coming up this weekend. Mm -hmm. All right. What is the price of a 30 second spot in the Super Bowl? Sold out on NBC. Five million. More That's close that. enough. Four and a half million. Four and a half. Mm -hmm. All right. Here, illegal bets on this year, on last year's Super Bowl, this year's Super Bowl, are going to be what? It's roundabout number. How much money will be bet illegally on the Super Bowl? You'll have to ask Pete Lamb that question. <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, 3.8 billion. God. Yes. A lot of that coming from Athens, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> All right, media days are this week now. They charge you now. 2,000 people come out for media days trying to get a quote or something. They always do something stupid. What was? This is the 49th Super Bowl, by the way. Next year, they will not use. What is the thing for a 50? You know, Roman numeral. Uh, it's uh, MC? No. I heard this on John Boy and Billy, so I hope it's right. L? L is L. correct, number one. So next year, instead of the L, they're going to just 50, and then on 51st, they're going back to Roman numeral. L. Very good. Here's the question, though. With media days, what was the first ever news-making quote of a Super Bowl? Guarantee you. Guarantee you for number Joe two. Joe Willie. Joe Willie, name it. Said, I guarantee you will win. He basically said it out of accident speaking, and then he came back and said it again. All right, here we go. What is America's toughest sheriff's name? Mike Blake. Mike Blake. <laughs> Mike Blake. I got here. Besides Mike Blake. <laughs> Joe Arpaio. George Arpaio is the third largest jail system in, uh, in the county, in, in Limestone, down in the, the county down in Arizona, where the Super Bowl is being held. He's 82 years old. Hmm. Yeah, Blake, I got there besides Mike Blake. Chris Obama has been in India over the weekend, over at New Delhi, actually. They have a problem over there with monkeys <laughs> hanging from trees, going everywhere. What did the, they hired some people to get keep the monkeys away from President Obama because they are considered in Hindu uh, religion sacred. 
Really? What did they, the people, use to keep the monkeys at bay? Bananas. <laughs> Good answer, but a wrong. <laughs> Water pistols. Uh, Close, but a wrong. You had one as a kid. Pelican. BB gun. No guns allowed. Out. Slang shot. Slang shot. Slang shot. Slang shots were used in you, Daniel Wiggins, to keep the monkeys away. That's funny. What is? And they also have a problem with another animal over there, which is sacred, which is what? Cow. Cow. Man, you were up on your Hindu religion, number one. I'll give you credit for that. There you are. College football is being asked to move from New Year's Eve this this year's championship game to win. Oh, Saturday. Playoffs. Yeah, there's a, a ratings Not debate. Saturday, but yeah. Monday. No, they they was on the radio. I heard yesterday after on Fine Bomb, they said this year to move it to Where Saturday. Saturday they want to move it to the Why Saturday. are they wanting to move, move to New because Year's Because no, there's what, no. What's the reason? Ratings. Ratings and there's no. What, no what, what's on that night? No competition. That's what's on that night, New Year's Eve, the reason they want to move? Go on the calendar. You got Dick Clark. Dick and all Clark the countdown, even yeah, though he's, he's not there anymore. Going. All right, very good. You know, they're going to schedule right now for New Year's. They said they will not move it, though. That's crazy. Well, Why don't they they will not move it. Will not move it. That's crazy. What is the most ex okay? What is One the price time. of the most expensive high school in the world per year? Roger Morris and his kids there. Elizabeth Taylor's kids went there. How much would it be? Hollywood High School. No, it's not even in this country. It's in another country. What the price to go? They got a yacht. Two million. Two million. No, that'd be too million. much. A hundred and forty thousand dollars a year. A year? All right, I got a couple more questions, Zach. What do you got? Shoot. Uh here we go. Talent is God given, be humble. Fame is man given, be grateful. Conceit is self given, be careful. Give me them one more time, Zach. Looking around the street, there might be something going on. Okay, here. talent is God given, <laughs> be humble. Fame is man given, be grateful. Conceit is self given, be careful. Uh, uh, thank you, Zach. Get that. I may have a few of those characteristics myself. You may not. Talent. All right, here we go. <laughs> what is a blizzard buddy? A heater. A heater. Huh? <laughs> a heater. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Well, you get two blizzards at DQ. <laughs> you get one, you got to have a buddy to go it's with. It's on Craig's list right now. Uh, <clears throat> something to keep you warm during a blizzard. It's probably a cone or something you get in and just. It's a person. Stop. Oh, yeah. Craig Lister, with the snowstorm getting people in, they're going to be in for cool three days. Oh, they're so now advertising bit. for Blizzard Buddies to snuggle up with them. Some or the Blizzard bed. Bunnies. Uh, you I'll can be, be a Blizzard Buddy or a Blizzard Bunny. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nice. See there? Hmm. That's, That's where Gay Mays nice. got started. Blizzard Buddies. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Camping. All right, last question here. San Francisco Zoo is offering something special for Valentine's Day. What would it be? Name your ex after a roach or something. <laughs> what kind of roach? Mm, I heard one of those insects, those bugs. I heard Mojo talking about it yesterday. What well, then you say? should be an elephant then if you heard Mojo. He only had one of my answers, huh? <laughs> he did. He's like, San Francisco is out of your alley being a divorce attorney for all these years right here in Limestone County and that. You can lease a. You can now buy one for $50 to and call it your name of your jilted lover. You can uh, buy a cockroach from the city. There's two or three different varieties right. of insects you yeah. can get from them. And you can name your ex after they. How much? That's 50 crazy. Bucks. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Yeah. Or in your case, your current spouse. If you want not to get her something about a cockroach, you could do something like that. That would not be smart. Huh? That would no. not be smart. Ask Jimmy Gill. Jimmm Gill. Oh. President of Rice. I don't know why you brought that we'll bombard up. him with questions <laughs> in just a moment. Right now, we'll take a break. Come right back. Thank y'all for playing along this morning. I don't know who won. No, I think I'm number pretty one. sure. Number one. We'll we'll give to Dan. Yeah, this number Valentine's one. Day sweater on. Yeah. Right. <laughs> if you're looking to get D-I-B-O-R-C-E-D. Call Dan That's right. Get by and visit with him. We'll take a break and be right back on this Tuesday. Y'all hang on.